Hi, this is a Tutor Nick P, and this is Idioms 363. The idiom today is another nail in the coffin. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. If a person says that something is another nail in one's coffin, uh, it means it is another thing in a series of things. So it had to be a number of things happening over time uh, that could lead to one's downfall or eventual failure. So they say, yeah, well, that's another nail in his coffin. I don't know how much longer he's going to last. Something like that. Uh, you could also say that something is the last or final nail in one's coffin if it is something that may finally destroy uh, someone or, or something for good. So that's it. This was the last thing. It's a little bit similar to, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back in a way. Let's continue. Of course, a coffin is a box that contains a dead body. So, of course, if you've ever seen a coffin, you know, the top has to be nailed down. So, it takes a lot of nails going around to eventually completely seal the coffin. Or at least in the old days it did. I think uh, now in modern times, mostly it just kind of closes down and then there might be something to lock it. But in the old days, they used to nail it in. They had a lot of nails going all around so each now, you know, kind of finalized it or, you know, came close to that. Uh, let's continue. There are a couple of theories of the origin of this phrase, which dates back to the early 1800s. The first one is that it used to refer to habitual uh, drinkers of spirits and strong alcohol. Well, you know, basically you were a little bit of a, like, a, like an alcoholic maybe, or somebody that had a drinking problem, so you drank a lot, okay? At that time, it was referred to as dram, uh, another word for spirits or whiskey. Each drink they took was like another nail in their coffin. That's the way it was actually referred to, so that's kind of how the phrase got going. Another theory goes to the fact that in the UK, you know, this is true even today, um, cigarettes are sometimes referred to as coffin nails. Yeah, I do remember seeing this some interviews with the Beatles referring to that they said that uh, cigarettes are coffin nails uh, and also suggest smoking may lead to one's death. So maybe every cigarette you smoke is like another nail in the coffin, something like that. Uh, probably the first one is a little bit more likely because it's probably closer in dates to when we first started hearing the phrase used. But, you know, some people suggest that either one could be uh, the origin of this phrase. All right, let's continue. Uh, all right, we got three examples here. Here's the first one. Um, his latest flop is just another now in the coffin in regard to his career. Yeah, this could be a, a writer, this could be an actor, you know, that maybe the, they had another film that failed or something like that and their career is going down. Or songwriter, could be a lot of things like that. Number two, uh, this rejection is another nail in his coffin. All right, we could say that one as well. And the last one here, the fallout from the coronavirus lockdowns was the final nail in the coffin for his business. So this is one with the final nail or the last nail. He had to declare bankruptcy. So maybe he was having a lot of problems even before this came around, but this just finished him off. He couldn't recover from this. This was too serious. So his, uh, his business was already leaning towards failing, but this finished him off. It was the final nail in his coffin. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.